Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Michi. Today, I'm going to introduce a nasal sounds. Uh, officially, we call it nasal consonant sounds because they are all consonant. All right. Let's look at number one. Uh, it starts with N, N sound. And you put the uh, uh, tip of your tongue uh, at the back of your upper teeth. Then you slide back a little bit further uh, out back. Then you feel like a bumpy part. We call it alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge. Uh, uh, I just call it bump. You put the tip of your tongue uh, in that uh, bump part. Then you stop the air coming from your mouth. Instead, the air coming from your nose with a sound like this. Mm, mm, mm. You can put your finger on your uh, throat to make sure whether it's voice sound or voiceless sound. It's voice sound, of course. Mm, mm. It vibrates, all right? So you start with N sound and end with N sound, right? So uh, let's uh, listen. Nine, nine, like this. Okay, the next word uh, we can pronounce uh, also. Uh, this time, like this. Ten, ten, like this. Let's go to number two. This time is a symbol, or uh, is look at uh, number one, just like in sound, and but a little bit longer, and look. And the last part look like a G, G, uh, because N G, this N G sound uh, is just one sound, and that is this symbol we use it. And how do we make this sound? Okay, this time is different from number one. Okay, first of all, you make a G sound uh, to practice to make this one. All right, G G G. This is a uh, Explosive sound, we explode, explode the sound if it comes at the beginning, oftentimes. But this time, we don't explode. We don't pronounce G sound at all. But we pronounce G sound through your nose. How do we do it? I'll show you uh, the way. First of all, the tip uh, this time, the uh, a tip of your tongue is at the back of your lower teeth, like this like this. Then you try to pronounce G sound, G, but you don't, pro you don't pronounce it. You just stop just before you pronounce G sound. Then in this way, actually what you are doing, you're, you're stopping the air using your backside of your tongue uh, uh, coming from uh, your mouth. Instead, the air coming from your nose with the sound like this. Mm, mm, mm. If you put your finger on your throat, again, it vibrates because it's voiced sound. Mm, as in sing, sing, sing. Okay? Sometimes you may hear slightly, but basically uh, you don't hear the G sound clearly. You pronounce G sound through your nose, sing, mm, mm, like this. So number one, mm, mm, your mouth, your uh, lip position, please watch. Mm, mm. Number two, mm, mm, okay? So uh, this word like sing, sing, like this. It's very subtle sound but very different in the English language when you hear, be careful, right? Okay, number three. This is very easy. You just close your lip. Uh, you close your mouth like this. Then you make the sound again through your nose. The air doesn't come from your mouth because you're closing your lip, all right, like this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, again, uh, it vibrates. It's a voice sound. 
but you're closing your mouth, so the sound comes from your nose, uh, as in my, 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 like this. So you try to uh, make the sound, mm, then my, like this. Okay, so there are uh, some things common in those three nasal sounds. They are all a uh, voice sound, and uh, uh, the air doesn't come from your mouth, come from your nose, okay? Now, let's listen to the native speaker's pronunciation. Are you ready? Nine, nine, ten, ten. Sing, sing, my, my. These red symbols are the symbols of the International Phonetic Alphabet. And they are valuable because if you know these symbols, you can look up any word in most languages and know how to pronounce it. Okay, how was it? You can practice these nasal sounds using a hand mirror and you can compare your mouth and mine or other native speakers. Okie dokie, that's all for today. Goodbye everybody.